Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Wednesday, December 22nd. The opening sentence is from Isaiah. In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence to give thanks for the great benefits we have received in his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. Apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people. In Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant to most merciful Father for his sake that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ desires not the death of sinners, but that they may turn from their wickedness and live. He has empowered and commanded his ministers to pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all who truly repent and genuinely believe his holy gospel. For this reason, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that our present deeds may please him, the rest of our lives may be pure and holy, and that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our King and Savior now draws near. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, Harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness when your fathers tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long was I agreed with this generation and said, it is a people that err in their hearts for they have not known my ways. Of whom I swore my wrath, they should not enter into my rest. Our King and Savior now draws near. O come, let us adore him. We'll now have the psalm readings and the O come, the o I was glad when they said um, uh, the psalm is Psalm 122, and this is found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 441. I was glad when they said unto me, we will go into the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing. Within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city. That is at unity in itself. For there the tribes go up, even the tribes of the Lord. As was decreed for Israel to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there is the throne of judgment even the throne of the house of David. Oh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love you. 
peace be within your walls. And plenteousness within your palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake. I will wish you prosperity. Indeed, because of the house of the Lord our God. I will seek to do you good. Psalm 123. Unto you I lift up my eyes. You who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hands of their masters. And as the eyes of a maiden to the hand of her mistress. Even so, our eyes wait on the Lord our God. Until he show us his favor. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us. For we have suffered more than enough contempt. Long has our soul suffered the scorn of the wealthy. And the spitefulness of the proud. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ to St. John, beginning with the 14th chapter, the first verse. The Lamb and the 144,000. Then I looked, and behold, on Mount Zion stood the Lamb, and with him 144,000, who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the roar of many waters, and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps, and they were singing a new song before the throne, and before the four living creatures, and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. It is these who had not defiled themselves with women, for they were their virgins. <clears throat> it is these who follow the lamb wherever he goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as first fruits for God and the lamb. And in their mouths, no lie was found, for they are blameless. The message of the three angels. Then I saw another angel flying directly overhead with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. And he said with a loud voice, fear God and give him glory because the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. Another angel, a second followed saying fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, she who made all nations drink the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality. And another angel, a third, followed them, saying with a loud voice, if anyone worships the beast and its image and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, he also will drink the wine of God's wrath, poured full strength into the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever, and they have no rest, day or night, these worshipers of the beast and its image, and whoever receives the mark of its name. Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Blessed indeed, says the spirit, that they may rest from their labors for their deeds follow them. The harvest of the earth. Then I looked and behold a white cloud and seated on the cloud, one like a son of man with a golden crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. And another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, put in your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. So he who sat on the cloud swung his sickle across the earth, and the earth was reaped. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle, 
And another angel came out from the altar, the angel who has authority over the fire. And he called with a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, put in your sickle and gather the clusters from the vine of the earth for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle across the earth and gathered the grape harvest from the earth and threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden outside the city and the blood flowed from the winepress as high as a horse's bridle for 1,600 stadia. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is the Benedictus found on page 19. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O oh Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. I call it for the Wednesday after the fourth Sunday in Advent. Stir up your power, O oh Lord, and with great might come among us. And as we are sorely hindered by our sins from running the race that is set before us, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Now in the time for intercession and thanksgiving. Oh, Lord God, Heavenly Father, we praise you. We praise you for your incredible gift to us of your son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. 
Lord, I pray for those in missionary positions attempting to spread this news that Jesus came to save them and to forgive their sins. I especially pray for Jean and her crew ministry, for Meredith in, in Mexico. Um, I pray for Child Evangelism Fellowship. And I ask that the children be brought to you. It's so much easier to bring the little children to you than those of us who have reached adulthood and for, have forgotten how to be children in your presence. Lord, I ask that we continue to be your missionaries in all the world. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we come again with a spirit of thanksgiving for all the many, many blessings you have poured over us at Christ the King. And we thank you for the missions that you help us support. Um, this week, we are going out and delivering the angel tree gifts to families who have members incarcerated and the children of those are receiving uh, Christmas gifts. It's such a joy to bring these presents to the families and Sometimes yesterday I brought one to a grandmother who's taking care of a little boy and he came to the door. He wasn't supposed to see the present. So of course he came to the door like a laser beam. He said, what's that? <laughs> it's such a joy to support these, these outreach ministries that we have. Last Saturday, the Kairos prison ministry went into the women's prison and it was a, I'm told it was a very good, good reunion. Uh, the women there, are, you know, all the men and women that are incarcerated, are, this is a, of course, this is a hard time for them and the young people who are locked up in the youth facilities, Christmas is, is a very hard time. But because it's a hard time, it's a time when you can reach the Lord. And so I ask that you would work as only you can to reach into the hearts of the young and the old who are locked up that you would find a way to go through that crack and give them light, give them hope, and use us, use those who uh, choose to work in these ministries to be the picket fence around them and create a space that's safe when they are locked up in a place that is not safe. It is Satan's playground. Help us create that space where they can have a relationship with you. And help us at Christ the King to create a space where people who do not go to church or haven't gone in a very long time will feel drawn like a huge magnet to come in and enjoy time with you. All these things we ask in your name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for all the missions that Christ the King supports. We pray, Lord, for LifeQuest and their ministry to young people uh, and those who are incarcerated and those who, uh, who are uh, partaking now in a new program called the uh, 413 Journey, which is a time for uh, young people to challenge themselves uh, with uh, outdoor adventures, uh, with uh, zip lines and uh, climbing walls and things like that. And, and also at the same time being encouraged by uh, Christian mentors that uh, with God, all things are possible. And just to give them encouragement and hope in their young lives uh, for the present and for the future. And so we pray your blessing upon that uh, ministry that's uh, just uh, underway. And we ask for that uh, you bless the youth who are incarcerated and we pray lord for those christmas care kits that went out uh, and we pray lord that uh, the kids that receive them will know, know your love uh, that people do care for them and that ultimately you care for them in jesus name amen the general thanksgiving almighty god father of all mercies we are worthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made we bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. 
And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Mm -hmm.